Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta and today we're going to talk about customizing columns in QBO. In particular, we're going to add a percentage of income column to a profit and loss and then I'm going to talk about why we would want to do that. So as you can see, we're in the Rock Castle construction sample file here and in the reports area. And so I'm going to go down here under our favorites where we can see the profit and loss is already marked as a favorite. Click on this three button ellipse here and that will enable us to customize. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. That will open up the customization drawer. So I want to change the report period to this year to last month. I also want to leave it on the accrual basis. We're going to go ahead and show all the non-zero rows because we don't want to show anything that has no data in it. And then here we go. We've run our profit and loss here. As you can see, we've got our total income as over $1.1 million. Total cost of goods sold almost $75,000 with a gross profit of just a little over a million dollars. And that doesn't really tell us much without adding this one thing. So I'm going to go up here to where it says compare another period. We're going to go ahead and select the period. And in this case, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a check mark under percent of income. And I may have to click on this twice to get it to run. And there we go. Once I do, you'll be able to see a little bit more information as the total income is our total basis for what we're doing here. If we go down to gross profit, you can see based on the math that has been done within QuickBooks Online, you can see it's competing our gross profit at 93.26% as to whether or not that's good or bad. Nah, can't really tell you unless you compare it to other businesses in similar industries. But at least you have a percentage now to share with your client to let them know whether or not that's good or bad and that kind of thing. So anyway, I hope this helps you today. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day and we will see you soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.